Tracking expenses for your small business or even your personal finances can be confusing and overwhelming. So in this video, you're going to learn how to track your expenses using a cloud collaboration tool uh, that requires no coding experience and with hybrid spreadsheet uh, feature, it's called Airtable. Buckle your seat belts, grab some notes or get something to drink. My name is Dennis Hilario and I provide valuable content about digital transformation, productivity, and innovation. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you'll be up to date with my latest posts such as this. So let's get you started with digitizing your expense tracking. My motivation to do this started when my significant other asked for help in booking her transactions uh, for her small business. So at first, I set up an accounting software for her and then I taught her on how to encode transactions using the software. But most of the time, she's mobile and uh, she really doesn't have that countable sense in using the accounting software. So in the end, we settled with uh, her just texting the transactions to me and then I'm the one encoding the transactions in the software. I have tried Airtable before, probably around two years ago, and I really didn't see the practical use uh, of Airtable until now. Before I show you the demo of the expense tracker using the Airtable, let me introduce you to the Airtable itself. So Airtable is an online collaboration app with features of the database but act like a spreadsheet. As a database, it can be more powerful and more robust than a typical spreadsheet. You can even extend it into a full mobile app with little or no knowledge about coding. And then when you sign up with Airtable for free, you can actually use it right away using their te default templates such as task managers, even expense trackers, and you can customize it according to your preference. But for now, I won't be discussing details on how to customize the Airtable, but instead, let's focus on how to track your expenses using my own simple expense tracker. You can use it to collaborate expense tracking with your spouse, or say if you have a small business, you can ask your employees to encode transactions there, either sales and expenses uh, using a mobile app or a mobile device and or a desktop device. There's so much practical ways on how to use Airtable. And then in the next coming months, I'm going to show you how to build our own accounting software using this so much powerful app. In any case, probably some of you may ask, uh, why not use just uh, like MS Excel or Google Spreadsheet? Yes, you can actually do that. So if you still prefer to use that, at least you've learned how to do the expense tracking here. Uh, regardless of the applications or platform that you intend to use. So let's start. Okay, so let's start by signing up uh, in Airtable. So we'll just go here, airtable.com, then sign up for free. So here you can either create an account by filling out this information or sign up using your Gmail or Google account. So for today, I'm going to sign up here. Uh, Dennis Hilario. Then enter your preferred password. Click this. Sign up for free. Okay, so we have some uh, information here. It's up to you what uh, option you'd like to select. Oh, yeah. Create your workspace. My workspace. Skip for now. So this is the... Um, dashboard of Airtable so I'm, what I'm showing now is the desktop version so like I said before there are default templates here like project tracker sales CRM uh, and whatnot so if you click here so that opens the uh, template for project tracker okay so what I'll do is um, I'm going to be sharing with you a link again just go to denismhilario.com slash uh, Airtable and then request for the access to the um, simple expense tracker that I made. So once you have submitted uh, the request for the expense tracker, you're going to be seeing this uh, Airtable base. If you go back here, then you'll see the base uh, that uh, shared with you, uh, shared by me. Um, what you can do is just duplicate it. 
so that you will have your own uh, uh, own copy of your expense tracker without me uh, seeing it. So you you have your shared here. This is the template that I shared, and you have your my workspace here. This is the copy that you have duplicated. Uh, this is only exclusive for your eyes only. Now you can either rename this, uh, like your name, uh, my expense tracker, okay, or put your name there, and then you open it. So you have a fresh copy of the expense tracker. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, this video is brought to you by my Accounting Starter Digital Course for Small Businesses. So if you wish to learn the basics of accounting on top of uh, how to do expense tracking, then this is the right course for you. So it comes with basic terms definition, government compliance, up to computerization. So it also comes with a six months free access to our accounting software called Snap Accounting. So go to accountingcourseph.com and sign up. So I'll be navigating you uh, in the different uh, tabs here. So you have your cash ledger, you have your transaction registers, you have your categories, and then your accounts. So let's start to set up uh, your accounts. Say for example, you have a, a Gcash account. Okay, so you can add a limited number of accounts or bank accounts there. Say another example is BDO. So right now we have two um bank accounts in the expense tracker so another thing that you set up here is the category so category can be also be called like an expense category um, say for example um, let's put rent let's put put here groceries if you're a business you have uh, say salaries or you have your marketing expense and so on and so forth so after setting up your accounts and categories you can now start using your cash ledger so in this case let's start with an opening record uh, for example uh, this one uh, and then the account let's say uh, let's start with your video account okay so in this um, your starting balance uh, let's say is 10,000 Okay, so this is your opening record. So the beginning balance here should be equal to the uh, bank balance. Okay, so that is your opening record. You can now start encoding your transactions. So for example, uh, let's say uh, you buy some groceries. So you just so go to transaction register and then select the cash ledger that you just made. Okay, and then after that, uh, you enter the expense. So take note that if it's a deposit, take uh, enter positive amount, and if it's a cash out or an expense, then you enter a negative amount. So for example, I enter three thousand, and then select the category that you made earlier. Let's say groceries. Okay. So, and then after that, uh, you made another transactions. Again, select the ledger. So, notice that every time I select a ledger, it automatically um, uh, fill this out. So, again, you put notes. For example, you bought something at uh, Starbucks. Okay, so say uh, at 250 then again select a category um, say uh, let's say marketing expense so on a day-to-day -day basis you just encode and encode these transactions by the end of the day you have to do your reconciliation either in at home or in your back office so you do that probably on a day-to-day -day basis on a weekly basis it's all up to you so what you do is just encode it and then um, uh, you just do the balancing uh, at the end of the day or at the, at the end of the week. So for, in this case, uh, notice that it automatically 
computes for the net total of all your, of your transactions and you'll have a book ending balance of 6750 so what you'll do is that you go you you can check your balance in your BDO account say for example the balance is equal so it's 6750 okay so if that's the case and then you don't have to worry about the variance meaning your balance in the bank is equal to the balance of your record so what if for example uh, the balance in the bank is instead of 6750 uh, would be 6500 okay so notice that there's a negative 250 variance so meaning you have um, unposted transactions uh, or transaction that is worth 250 probably you forgot to encode something um, or in the past so what you'll do is just go ahead and go to the transaction ledger again and then select the account and then record here that particular expense for example you bought uh, uh, supplies okay at negative 250 and then uh, again link it to your expense category so going back as you can see there's no variance anymore between your record and the bank balance so it means you are balanced so after reconciling just go ahead and open another date uh, say for example you intend to uh, do your uh, reconciliation again on sunday december 13 for this account bdo and then what you'll do is just copy the end balance here 6500 then you can already again um, start encoding your transactions so there you go um, that's the basic idea in uh, using the cash ledger you can use another bank account if you want just enter here gcash you can uh, group also your transactions by account um, or if you want to review the totals of each per month you can filter it or if you want to see the totals per month you can also group it by category so if you do this as you can see here you have, will have a total per month um, of your uh, expenses if you see some information here you can actually hide it if you don't want to see that you can hide columns just click here and then hide field okay so those are the things you can do to customize maybe later on we can discuss about customizing uh, this uh, air table base uh, for your own use or for your own preferences so the next step uh, is oh, i also want to show you the navigation through the mobile app so what you'll do is just download the air table from app store or google play store and then open the air table so you have to sign in using the account that you made earlier So here you go, so it automatically syncs with your browser. So you just open it and then you'll see the last state of your transaction. So this is your last ledger and then you go to transaction register again uh, to encode your new record. You just uh, press the plus button and uh, link to the cache ledger um, and then the notes um, say again coffee. and then the, the amount is 150 and then um, we link it to the particular expense so as you notice here again uh, it automatically groups under marketing expense so you see the count of your uh, marketing expense and then you can do your analysis on a monthly basis depending on your uh, requirement so let me ask you a question. So would you want to track your expenses regularly so you can save more for the future? So the fact that you are here and you reach up to this point, you're probably someone who really needs help in terms of tracking your expenses. 
So just start with the habit of keying in transactions so that you can get amazing results. If you like this video, kindly help me reach out to others by smashing the like button. And in the next coming video, I'm gonna show and share with you another Airtable base, which is an extension of the expense tracker. It comes with a sales book, a purchase or expense book, a receivable ledger, a payable ledger, and up to cash uh, ledger or cash book. So thank you so much for watching. TX Your Life and Business. Have a great day.